Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're back. It seems like we've been gone for a minute, but yeah, we're back. Man. <laughs> and listen, they ain't come to play with none of us this None week. of us, man. Power Book 2 goes Episode 6. What's, What's free? free? We're going to run it real quick and we're going to get out your way. Yeah, yeah, man. This week was a fire episode, it man. Was. They definitely came through. Coming back off a of break, I'm glad that we didn't have a slow episode trying to yeah. figure out everything, but we glad that Lorenzo was out because all of us... Are, are we? Yes. We we are, as as viewers, we are, we ready for Mecca and uh and, and uh, Lorenzo to go to war. So that's what we, that's what we really want. So... <laughs> I think I like locked up Lorenzo better than I like free Lorenzo. Yeah, because as we can see, Lorenzo is out. They at the at the house. They gambling. They drinking. They turn it up. It's a trap house now. Right. Yeah. So he getting out. They got all that going on. And the one thing that through it all that we said, Lorenzo is an a hole. We already He's an knew. A I mean, he was he was <laughs> one when he was locked up behind bars. But now that he out and he free. Lord have mercy, yeah. I said, I said, my girl Monado turned into Mary J. Blige all over again. She is the lover and yeah, right. the secretary <laughs> working every day of the week. So all this skit is going on at the house, and you can tell Monet, she is like so she disconnected. Like, you know what? I don't know how he got out. <laughs> I don't really like him. Yeah. I love him, but I wouldn't for the skits. I wanted to be with Dante right now, and this right here is messing up all of my plans. And then he had the nerve to say, you know what? Diana is the hardest and she is the lowest, loyalist out of all of y'all because she was the one that got me out. I was like, yeah, she got you out because she stole a million dollars <laughs> from, from both your of wife. Yeah, from, <laughs> from both, both of y'all. But oh, yeah. Because <laughs> the whole time he was talking, she was looking at Monet and Monet was looking at her like, yeah, I know that you took the money. But she don't know that she know that. Yeah, so she don't know that. So... Then we see Zeke walks up into the house and Lorenzo was like, and I was like, why is Lorenzo looking at Zeke like that? Don't you know? Don't you know, don't you know Zeke? Her nephew? Yeah. <laughs> so him and this dude named Kino that's at that's at the house, uh, they end up being over there. So Lorenzo go over there and be like, hey, you ain't supposed to be here. This is a family private party. This is a, that's a private party, a family owning. And Zeke was like, my bad. You know, Auntie Monet said that it was good for me to come in, my boys. Yeah. And then she came over and said, hey, you remember Zeke, my nephew, right? You know, I know it's been a while. He was like, nah, no, I don't think I don't I think I ever met. I said, wait, wait, wait. God, do a minute. Wait. I'm like, am I in a Twilight Zone? Because when they was talking, because y'all remember when she was trying to use the money to help Zeke out, he was like, no, we got to take care of family first. So it was almost... I, it was like he knows everything about Zeke. But he never, but he met, never met, met Zeke. And I'm like, we know that he was raised up south. That's what they said. Right. And then I guess when Lorenzo went to jail, that's when, you know, he was incorporated back into, you know, into that household. But we ain't seen no picture. Yeah. I, I, like, you don't have nothing. I mean, yeah, nothing. Yeah, that me for a loop Like, right treated there. this dude <laughs> like he was a, on the street. And then after that, have the nerve to get Keno. To pat him down. I would have laughed. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is one time that you should have yeah. and laughed. <laughs> yeah, we know Zeke gets on our nerves and everything, but can you just imagine that you've been coming to your own house all this time, and now all of a sudden you come and you're getting patted down at your own house that, you come, that you've been coming to all this long time freely? Yeah, you used to come in there eating good meals, and yeah. now it looked like a trap house. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening here? And then everybody else cold towards him, too. Yeah. And then you see the people that... I ain't gonna get into it. But you see the ox in there, too. Yeah. So, little Guap, he... I, I can't stay at him. I, he just never learned his lessons. For the first thing he asked Kane... Ask your pops, man, can we get a picture for IG? And I said, Larissa, don't you follow And me? I'm like, Cain, why in the hell would you even ask him to do that when you can remember that Monet got you to whoop his A for posting on social media? <laughs> so why in the world would you ask him to do that? <laughs> Real facts. So, since we all a little guap, so he run around the party all nervous as he should be mm -hmm. because Drew... And uh, Zeke is looking him up and down because y'all remember what yeah. went down at the game. So, I, of course, I'll be looking you up and down, too, because you remember he was the one that had the gun to Zeke leg. So, why wouldn't they? No. So, he was like, 
<laughs> well, I was like, man, Kane, I need to talk to your pops ASAP because the way they looking at me, man. <laughs> I got to go ahead and let him know I'm on some chill stuff right now. But he stay stressed out the way he ought to. Because he's he doing do that dumb much. stuff, man. Yeah, he doing that dumb stuff. So then we flipped over and we saw uh, Tariq um, and Davis and Sax. Because Tariq, they try to get Tariq bail. And the judge ain't having it because no we got a cop dead. And we got a professor dead. And basically, you ain't getting out because of the cop dead. Yeah. The professor, they don't get nothing back. Right. But that cop? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, when they get back into the room, uh, basically, Davis and Sachs said, they ain't fitting to let you go to Rick because of this cop. But, uh, Sachs, Sachs was getting, Sachs was getting on my everlasting nerve because he kept on trying to get to Rick to confess. To confess. Uh, so... Davis told Tariq, um, there are some other options so we can get you out. There is some judges that can be influenced. So Tariq told Davis, if you can get to Rashard Tate to come here and that talk to me. BA. Yeah, Rashard <laughs> Tate to come here and talk to me. I got it from here. I got it from here. So when Tariq left, uh, uh, Davis was like, Sax, what in the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He was like, we working for Tariq and not against Tariq. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought they were supposed to be on the same page. But we saw this from the beginning that we knew that the Sachs and the Davis thing was not going to work. We we know that Davis is trying to use Sachs mm -hmm. for his connections. But why would Davis be surprised at Sachs making these like moves that. like that? So Because is. Sachs is for himself. So he don't care nothing about this. So I'm like... You see how he getting his information now. Right. So you know Davis want to make his money. You know, black folk won't make their money. He making plenty of it. So he was like, we make money off of getting people free. We don't get money. We, we don't get money off of clients telling the truth because if they tell the truth, we can't come up with an alternative theory which has our hands locked up. So I, he's like, don't you do that skit again. Yeah, don't do that again. And he said, I need your word. But you know, Sax word ain't worth skit. And then looked at him. Yeah. It was the walk off for me though. So then we see we switched over that we back at the bar. And Drew is talking about how painful it was to be shot. Hey, I don't know nothing about it. It just looked like go. it looked like it hurt. And Lorenzo was like, yeah, that skit burns. But he said, what they don't tell you is how that skit bucks with you up here. And he right, man. Matter of fact, that skit bucks with you when you at somewhere and there was a gunshot. Yeah, <laughs> real facts. That messes with you. So Lorenzo was like, "Are you?" But other now, you good? And so Kane slides him a nice old Jesus piece. And Lorenzo was like, "You know, this is cool and all, but the best welcome home gift is so I can meet the, uh, meet the best welcome home gift is you let me meet the connect." I said, but "Lorenzo, you such an a hole." <laughs> That Kane is doing. Look, I feel sorry for Kane. Kane don't did his mess, but Kane is legit. Yeah, the black sheep of the family now, and it don't matter what he does, which he but he do fuck up himself. a lot though. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they bringing in Drew closer, pushing him away further. Yep. It's just a lot. So Lorenzo ended up kicking him out the bar. Was like, yeah, go ahead. And matter of fact, you can hit him up now. And matter of fact, I need you to leave because I need to talk to Drew anyway. So basically, we know from the jump that Lorenzo wants Drew in charge. Mm -hmm. Now, us standing back, we'd be like, we don't think he's ready. Yeah. But, but well, I would say I would say he wasn't ready he back a few, few. But now, Drew, Drew has got a got Drew a to change. He done, he a uh, switch the switch to him. We're gonna talk about that some more in a few minutes. But something to switch to him that he done turned crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't turn crazy. So basically, Lorenzo was like, hey, uh, we, uh, cause he was, Drew was like, we don't need to know, I don't need to know who the connect is because as long as I got you and Monet, I'm good. He was like, no, it don't work that way. What if you don't? Yeah, what if you don't? I'm trying to put you up on the game so that you can run all of this, you know. But he was talking to him like he don't expect to be around long. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what. <laughs> Like, you know, you have but, to take over for us. But, but at the same time, when you live that kind of life, you kind of live as if today is your last day. Yeah, So true the that. mentality is different. And then yeah. he institutionalized, man. Right, right. So at any moment, he out of here. So since we know that Drew, you know, really got the brain she be thinking, he said, 
I did, some, you know, I found out about Reno that those guys that he working with, because you remember back at the house with the, at the party, you remember um, Reno was saying Is that. Is it Reno or Kino? Ke no, I mean Kino. I said Reno. Kino. My bad. Uh, <clears throat> that now he running with these guys called the Broad Street Killers. And Drew was like, aren't they the ones that got shot up? And you running with them. And Lorenzo was like, wait a minute. So you going to run with the dudes that I helped protect you from when we was in jail? And Kino was like, well, we ain't in prison no more. So I'm just I'm just taking over for him to, you know, to my dude out. get out. So while they at the bar, uh, Drew said, I found out that Kino is working these guys half to death and giving them straps. He said, matter of fact, we can reach in and recruit these guys. So Lorenzo was like, I like your idea, but if you go and recruit these guys, you're going to start a war. So Drew was like, well, that sounds like to me that Kino is gotta, a threat. He got to go. So he got to go. So Lorenzo said, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of come back to like, like Lorenzo was saying, maybe Drew is the right choice. Because right now, they need, they need some people to help them put some product. You add anything else to that? I ain't got nothing. You do a good job. <laughs> yeah. So now we see uh, Diana and Monet. Oh. So she rolls up on Diana. Why ain't you ain't let me know that Lorenzo was getting out? So Diana was like, I didn't think it was a problem. I did what I had to do for this family. And which, plus daddy said don't tell you. And daddy said don't tell you. Which is true because they yeah. talk push family. with Everything and that, that yes, Monet girl. say. Everything that Monet say, we doing this for the family. So she put it back on. I was doing it for the family. So she starts arguing with Diana and end up putting Diana up against in the chokehold. And she was like, "How am I? How, Diana was like, "How am I bucking with you when I the one that got him out? Got your no?" She said, "I got your no, husband no. out, <laughs> and I'm the one bucking with you." Yeah. So she was like, "It sounded like but Diana to me. be a real grown." Right. So she said, "Sound like to me." You don't want Poppy home for some reason, which we know she don't because <laughs> because what she got going on with Dante. I thought Diana was going to check her about it. I was like, did she find out about that? That yeah. you don't want Poppy home because you got another over on the other side of town? <laughs> yeah. But she, evidently, she don't know. All right. So then we see, we flip over and we see Tariq is back in his cell. But you missed it. She told her to get out. Yeah, she did. She so did. And I said, well, where's she going to go? <laughs> and we, I mean, where's she going to go that Lorenzo ain't going to bring her back exactly. before nightfall? Exactly. <laughs> so we flip over. We see Tariq is back in his cell. And we see Kanan. So his thoughts is Kanan. That's the ring. His thoughts is Kanan. So he start reminiscing back, you know, hearing Kane say, you know, I'm a, all this stuff that we did with, with Ramirez, all that stuff going to come back on you. So he realized at this point that he'd been crossed. So he, you know, talking to Kane and the Kane was like, um, basically, you need to think about that the person that crossed you could be the person that you love, which I think he's directing back to Brayden. But Brayden didn't intentionally cross him. No, I didn't. But basically, it was Monet and Kane to me that basically crossed three. They did. But they all are crossing each other. Yeah. Up. And all of them are a casualty of everybody else's war. Yes. So let, let's talk about Lauren and Professor Milgram. So Lauren done figured out now that she been played. Mm -hmm. So she rolled up took on... took us so long. Right. So she done rolled up on Professor Milgram was like, you didn't tell me that Tariq was basically a part of this investigation. You basically, you lied to me. You used me. Yeah, you used me. And so Lauren is in a freaking pickle now because she done... Basically got evidence on that wire against Tariq. And now she in it. And and yep, and she in it. So I'm like, that is like so crazy. That is bucked up. Like this is this is your professor. Your professor done set, set you, you up, up to be a snitch. Yes. And then you got a snitch on the stand because now it's your evidence that got him locked up. And she had a nerve to play this card. Hey. You know, this actually your fault because they caught you with drugs and you mm -hmm. didn't want your father to know about the drugs. So you did what you had to do to get out. No, 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 Carrie. You used her to get out of this because you know that them murders was going to be on you if you didn't get to reap this stuff on Tariq. Oh, you be the next one dead because Monet yeah. was going to take you out. Exactly. So now we see Monet and Dante. So she's over there telling them that basically we need to put this skit on hold because <laughs> things, things done got complicated. Matter of fact, we need to suck 
and fuck in the dark. And Dante said, oh, no, I don't do that kind of stuff. Because uh-uh. I, got too, I got too much respect for you. And plus, <laughs> what about, what about, you know, what about me meeting Zeke? She was like, that, that's, that's still on. We're going to set that up to get you to meet, meet Zeke. So I was like, okay, now she, she, she backing up off of Dante because, yeah. Yeah, she don't need that kind of heat. Yeah, she don't. <laughs> she don't need that kind of heat. And I was like, okay, how is you gonna pull off meeting Zeke now with Lorenzo being out? And how, he got eyes all over the streets. Right, right. So how are you gonna pull that off? I'm still trying to figure out how she pulling off meeting him now without Lorenzo knowing. Yeah, well, we know. Well, one time she left them. But Lorenzo got eyes everywhere. Yeah, he do. <laughs> yeah, he do. So while Monet was talking to Dante, Lorenzo called. I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> and so he, she ended up telling Lorenzo, hold on a minute, I got to get in the elevator. And so Lorenzo told her, was like, um, you know that Tariq is in prison for Ramirez, right? And you know that that can basically blow back on you, right? <laughs> and she was like, damn. So immediately we see her up over there at Davis and she want Davis to give her all the information that to, that comes up with Tariq that involves her family. And he she's going to pay him 250000 for this information. And Davis is like, add another 250 to that and we got a deal. But I'm only going to give you information that you, you need, need to, to know, know, but I'm not going to give you any information to yeah. hurt Tariq. She said, I don't give a D on who gets hurt for a half a million dollars. That's what I You need say. to tell me what I need to know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, that's what I need to know. I said, I need to be on Davis' team. Right. <laughs> I need to get in on that on that Bitcoin hustle. Yeah. So then we see uh, Tate finally came down to meet Tariq. <laughs> And he going crazy because he haven't got the information on Sweeney yet. So Tariq said, basically, if you can get me out, I got a way to get this secret photo album that I learned when I was with the Westons. And, but I need you to get me out of here. So Tate was like, deal. Say less. (laughs) Yeah, say less. So then we see that Tariq ended up back in court. And I like this judge. This judge was not with it at all. This judge was basically like, I am not going to basically follow the trends and arrest uh, another, young, black man. another black man on this bull skit. So basically, I'm setting the bail at $1 million at 10%. You still got it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of coin. Yeah. So Tariq got bail. But at ankle monitor. But, yeah, with house arrest. So the first thing Tariq did was he ran back and confronted Brayden. Was like, what did you do? Did you did you set me up? And Brayden was like, no, nah, I ain't set you up. Uh, matter of fact, if you had been telling me what's going on, I would have been able to protect you. And Tariq was like, I want to let you know information based on a need-to-know basis. But I was like, I was in agreement with Brayden. was like, yeah. you should have told Brayden why. He shouldn't be involved with Kane. Yeah. Because we know Brayden, he just, he he, he, he want to be about the thing. life. Yeah. So Tariq was like, I don't even know why you even want to be about this life. Matter of fact, you need to quit this skit and go tell your father that you need a job while you're out here getting people killed on the decisions you make. And, and, and Brayden was like, wait, 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 wait. I ain't the only one with a rich father. You had a rich father too. We the and, same. Yeah, we the same. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was like, don't act like we don't have the same opportunities here. I said, well, you kind of did read it, but braided white privilege. Yeah. So I was like, come on now, Tariq. That ain't fair. I mean, you left this boy out in the dark. So he basically was doing what he had to do. Now, Braden was wrong, too, because he should have been straight he with Tariq. He had too much zeal. Right. He should have been straight because he lied to Tariq. Tariq lied to him. So that, that's what happens when everybody's keeping secrets. Yeah. The person that you try to... Falls right on in the middle. So, yeah, because Tariq was trying to, you know, allege that it's Braden's fault. That now that he got these two bodies on, I'm like, no, nah, that ain't Braden fault. That's on you. Braden raid him down. It's like, ho, ho, This is what had happened, and this is how I think the badge got here. Yeah. But like you said, if you had been straight with me from the get-go, one, I wouldn't even been dealing with this dude. Two, he wouldn't have been in his room. Exactly. So then we see um, Tariq meeting up with Lauren. Now, uh-huh. Tariq kind of pissed me off because he trying to, you know, Get Lauren to go along with that stuff. You pulling this girl in, 
You want her to be loyal to you with the game. She don't know about that. Mm-mm. So you're like, cause not telling her nothing either. So he was, so she was like, you know, he was like, you know, this not me. You know, I ain't doing this stuff. And she was like, I'm confused right now. I don't know what to think. Like she know you, but she don't really know you. <laughs> and I'm sitting there listening to Tariq, and I'm saying he halfway got me believing he's innocent. Yeah. Like you were kind of halfway, but no. <laughs> yeah. So Tariq, you know, proceeds to tell her that. Um, because she started talking about Professor Ingram and how Professor Ingram set her up. And he was like, why are you listening to her? Because she fucking Zeke. And that's why she got you in this. And that's why she, she got you in this. It. Yeah. And she was <laughs> like, like, what? <laughs> Ingram and Zeke? Yeah, we all yeah. say the same thing. <laughs> all right, so we see Effie is back in the picture. Effie comes to the two, Tariq's dorm. And you know you already knew from how they how they introduced you knew exactly what was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know if Tariq can can trust Effie. Fully trust her, yeah. right? I mean, she moves so she's him, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I like her though. I love Effie. Yeah, I like I like Effie, and he was like, basically, you 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 you've been the only one that's really been rocking with me and there for me. Everybody turned their back on me. And of course that led into led into to sex. But I yeah, we'll talk about Effie a little bit more in a minute. But we flip over and we see uh Monet and the family, they having dinner and basically they having old times. They, you know, reminiscing about, you know, about uh Drew used to be doing stuff crazy and Kane and Cra- Kane doing stuff. And, yeah, they turn music on, they start dancing, but you still can see Monet is like so disconnected. And I'm yeah. like, Lorenzo. You Do you see not it? see your wife is like not involved? But maybe I think that maybe he not paying too much attention right now because you at mm-hmm. one at one point, which which I wouldn't plan on talking about this, but you remember he ended up telling Diana about the school. But before she told him about the school, Diana was like, I don't I think mama is hiding something because I don't, she don't think she's happy about you. Yeah, she's not happy about you being home. And he was like, Well, I think it's because it's I've been gone for a long time. It's an adjustment. So maybe that's the reason why he not really paying attention to her disconnect. So she left up on the table and went straight over to Dante's and was like, you know what? We ain't fucking the sucking in the dark no more. We gotta cut this off. And you can't meet Zeke. And you can't meet Zeke. And what this between us? It's over. It's over. And that's when you saw the Dante turn into Mecca. Yeah, I was like, I didn't see that one. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't think she was gonna do that. I didn't either. But I mean, really, at this point, it had to be done. But I thought she actually was gonna try to play between the both of them. She can't. But she, she can't. She, can't do uh-uh. it. she dealing with two real street dudes. Yeah. Yeah. No. These ain't no play pimps. Uh uh-uh. uh. So she told she dropped that on him, and you can see that he ain't for it because he wants to meet Z. Yeah, he told and, him. Right, and then you broke it off that he want a relationship with you, so you know he ain't going away. Mm-mm. So I think that right there was the start of the war between Dante and Lorenzo. What you think? I'm not sure. I, I think that's I think that's the the start of it in in Dante's mind it was like okay I thought I had Monet now he home I don't have her because he want her bad oh yeah oh yeah he want her bad mm-hmm. and matter of fact he said he 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 wasn't gonna leave New York and without him? without him. I think that's a threat to that's me. a threat to me <laughs> <laughs> that's a threat to yeah. me yeah <laughs> all right then we see um Diana and Drew basically put Lorenzo up on Monet's plan B about Real them. Facts. Yeah, about them following Zeke. Um, Cause he told, well, Drew was the one that filled in all the details. Like, hey, when I got shot, that basically Monet said that we're going to basically follow Zeke and we're going to get out the game. <laughs> and Lorenzo was like, uh, Man, I ain't, ain't going through all this stuff to, to basically be your cousin's B. And, and Drew was like, well, we didn't know you was getting out. Right. So you wasn't in the plan. And matter of fact, if we want all this stuff to work, you and Ma need to get on the same page. And Lorenzo was like, yeah, you right, you right. And Lorenzo was like, you know what? And you was right about Reno. 
I need you to make a move on. Him. I need you to tell. I'm at Keno. <laughs> Y'all know I jack up names. <laughs> Keno, you need to tell him tonight. And Drew, you Drew was like, I mean, he just got like, he looked like he was nervous, but looked like he was ready for it though. He don't broke off his little date with yeah. Everett. Uh huh. And then you seen that look in his eye, like, yeah, I'm about ready to get this ninja. So I told y'all, man, I think uh, Drew, I don't know if you were going to talk about this or not, but it was at one point where Monet was still trying to tell Lorenzo that Drew was not ready. He ain't, you don't know these kids. Right. That he's not who you think he is. He was like, I, I peep what's going on. I know who he is. Yeah. They ain't got nothing to do with this business. The boy got what he got. So I was happy to see that Lorenzo didn't care. Yeah. That he that he was gay or mm -hmm. bisexual or whatever he is. I was like, I could dig that because at first I thought that that was going to be a major thing for Lorenzo when he got right. out because Monet put right. Everett out the house. Yeah, because of that. Because yeah. he saw, she saw the, mm, mm, mm. it was like at any moment Lorenzo going to see it. But we saw when Lorenzo saw that they were eyeing each other. I said, oh, skit Drew. Yeah. But he and, don't care. Right, he don't care. The only thing he can bear about is him being distracted. Distracted, yeah. Right. And he said it's because he told him, said with this game, especially with civilians, can be a distraction because they're not in the game. So, all right, now we see uh, Braden and, Tar um, and Tariq back together because your mama Effie told told Tariq, like, why is she beefing with, you know, with, with Braden. Braden? You know, you need to make it right with Braden because we need Braden because you need – you know, basically to get this $2 million that you need to pay Davis, you need Monet. And so, and you need Braden. So you can see Tariq going back and apologizing to Braden about everything. He confessed about everything. He did. Um, they both apologized. So now they I love Braden. Yeah. Braden was like, why you ain't tell me yeah. this? <laughs> I could have been helping you with this. And he said, now I got a body that I pulled out of wood. With you. Yeah. <laughs> he said, and I didn't even know what I was in. <laughs> All right, then we see the scene where uh, Lorenzo rolls up on Kane because he thinking that this is the day that we're going to find out who the connect is. And, <laughs> and Kane told Lorenzo, as far as you know, I'm the connect. And Lorenzo like, wait a minute, you ain't the connect. Just, just give me the connect, bro. And Kane was like, no, nah, you just got out. You ain't got nothing. Matter of fact, you living off of mine. And Lorenzo hit him with this. He was like, this is the reason right here why you drew the choice and not you. And you got to ask yourself, um, are you my, do you want to be my son or do you want to be my boss? But you see, Cain got to thinking. Like, hmm. But I like that Cain was using what Mecca was telling him. To play against his own father was yeah. like, if you give me to your father, where's your job now? Exactly. And that's what Cain was like, yeah, because after that, there is no use for Cain at right. that point. There is no connection to the connect. Exactly. Dang. All right, now we saw that Effie meets up with uh, with Monet to get this thing started. And she puts uh, gives, uh, gives Monet the phone to talk to Tariq. And Tariq was like, you know, why in the heck you set me up after I let you know about Kane? And she was like, you know what? They had nothing to do with me. That's not my fault. That you know who we dealing with. But however, if you snitch, I'm going to shoot. And if you shoot, I'm going to slaughter. So she was like, how can I trust Effie? He was like, you can trust Effie. Uh, and so we're going to basically see how, how this relationship right here is going to go. Because at the end of the day, they all need each other because all of them owe, well, not all of them, Tariq and Monet owe Davis. So Davis Davis owed $2.2 million. Tariq owe him two. <laughs> no, 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 no. no 2.5 no. million. Yeah. So, so they need each other. So basically. They got to make some money in these streets. So they was going to do course correct, but they was like, we can't do course Block's correct right high. now because the block is too high. So they're going to have to work the streets to get this money. So I I I I don't know how between the little bit of them that they're gonna make two million dollars. It's gonna be one big cluster buck. Yep. Of running businesses and who's gonna be the connect Mecca. Yep. And then we saw there was a meeting with Lorenzo that hey, 
Tariq is locked up. We no longer working with him. And you can see Monet and Kane like, oh, skit. <laughs> because they already worked out the deal with Tariq them so they can make this money to pay Davis. So he was like, no, we not working with, with Tariq no more. So I'm like, oh, so that's going to be a problem. Because 9 out of the 10, like you said, Lorenzo got eyes in the street. So he bound to find out, going to find out that they working with Tariq again. Because mm -hmm, Tariq is out. Yes. <laughs> but did you see when they found out that he was out? Yeah. They was like, Kane was like, how the hell did yes. How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That part. <laughs> dude, dude got his dad in him. That's for sure. Yeah, he do. So we see uh, towards the end of the episode, we see that Braden got the photo album. And then we saw Tariq talking to Effie again. And the episode closed with the same letter that Tariq read. On last episode, where Ghost was telling him, I knew you was going to end up in here, little nigga. He burnt that letter. I said, dang. And then he started looking real crazy, too. I said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> like I said, man, this 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 was an excellent, excellent episode. I'm waiting for Dante and Lorenzo to meet face-to-face. -face. I want to see how all this is going to go down. But I kept asking my husband. I said, do you feel like maybe Lorenzo truly deep down once came to be at the head of the organization, but he wants him so hungry that he will challenge him for it. And mm. that's how he can prove that he's ready. Because this is just doesn't make sense. Yeah, because matter because Mama Kane said you lied to me. You said that I that you trained me to go run the organization, but now you're giving it to Drew. So Yeah. And Drew might not want it. So I'm like, is he making him hungry? Like really hungry for this. Hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, is this is this a mind buck? I don't know. All right, so y'all go ahead and get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought about the episode. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. And we're going to catch y'all next week, man. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla, boo.